By 2027, Ibos will be open to voting for Turumbo, like was done for Basenjo, MK Wabiola, MK Wabiola no Basenjo, Obi na one suspects. In a recent, in a statement posted on his verified Twitter account, Obi Nawonsu, a member of the All Progressive Congress (APC) and a 2023 House of Representatives candidate, expressed that Igbo community will not protest against President Bola Tinubu administration. What he emphasized. That the Igbos, known for their nationalist tendencies, are open to supporting Tunumbu if its government extends goodwill and inclusivity rewards to the southeastern region. Once it stated, Igbos will not protest against residents. Tunumbu, the Igbos are nationalists, and if Tunumbu's administration is known to have extended the hand of fellowship to the region by 2027, Igbos will be open to voting for Tunumbu, like was done for Lushago Basanjo and MK Wabiola. His statement reflects a sense of political pragmatism that he believes characterizes the Igbo voting, the Igbo voting pattern. Okay. Igbos will not protest against President Tunumbu. Igbos are nationalists. And if Tunumbu administration is not to have extended the hand of fellowship to the region by 2027, Igbos will be part of voting. Will be Ibos will be open to voting for Tunumbu like was done for Lucian Goba and John MK Wabiola. The Ibos have a track record of pragmatic voting. We have done it before and we will do it again. During comparison to past elections, Monsu highlighted that the Ibos have a history of pragmatic voting. He called he recalled how the South is supported former President Lucian Goba and John and MK Wabiola, both of them who were not of Igbo origin but were backed by the region due to their policies and outreach. According to him, this willingness to support leaders who recognize the region's significance could be extended to Turumbu if his government demonstrated commitment to the Southeast. Wokos' remarks came at a time when national unity and regional inclusivity are hot topics in Nigerian political discourse. His statement is seen as a call for the Turumbu administration to actively engage with the Southeast, ensuring that the region is not marginalized in national affairs. By doing so, he believes that the Igbos, known for their pragmatic approach to issues, could lend their support to Tunumbu in 2027 elections. Whoever supports or still supports this present Tunumbu government for any reason is an enemy of God. Either Christians, Muslims, and other religions are being favored by Tunumbu as a person. He Tunumbu used what his so-called supporters will embarrass. Used what his so-called supporters will embarrass to divide majority opinion before they even reason together. And they had passed through the back door 4 a.m. after the announcement. Only Tunumbu and his, his will be seen celebrating, but suddenly tribal mentally and reestablish through media to foster people's demand who are the criminals about three years ago 21 lifeless bodies were found in a river in enoku this year again 50 headless bodies were seen at a place near kato market in abia state the corpses were not identified because they were not able my people from their dressing alone and physical look one can correctly guess about 20 from the 50 leftist bodies, these are innocent souls, and it will happen to anybody. May the judgment come upon the wicked one in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonobu should forget about Igbo votes if he did not free Nambi Kambi. This thing is, I don't even understand people who are running around Tonobu are doing this. So you show us you don't like your brother, Pito Bihaba. Ibo, but we and we not are going to vote for P2B by God's grace. Nobody is saying people should not vote for him or anybody is saying that he's saying that for their own. Hmm? Anybody they talk down or just they talk in own? Not him more. Okay, who are the criminals? Okay, I think I've said this before. You are dreaming, voting one who wants to suffer the whole Nigerians to death. Who rather rig it as usual? 
I can see why you have decided to remain a second class citizen of your dear country, Nigeria. As if the re South is forbidden to contest and win the presidential election. Educated tools, educated fools, rather. You are speaking your mind as the Igbo cease to be in the scapegoat region and as the federal government changed their stance on the southeast way by no infrastructure development in the area and no federal presence. Okay, but Amaka, your sister treating to poison. Okay, but Amaka, your sister threatening to poison all Tunable brothers and sisters. She came across in Canada. Maybe I don't know, I can't see. I cannot say who. You people planning genocide in Lagos against Igbo. I'm so little more asking Igbo to go and murder and arrest him. Idiots are in this country. I must divide house at one day. We show na pepe. Trim must suffer, save him. Must suffer him. Never see anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, there will be no able to vote for anyone in Nigeria. By then, we must have been out of Nigeria. Okay, there will be no able to vote for anyone in Nigeria by then. Then we must have backed it out of Nigeria. Support this bad government, even if the whole Igbo vote APC, they're not going, they cannot rig it with the level of economic hardship associated with this regime. Igbo support who? Now, one chance be this, so Oga, speak to yourself. At the end of the video, we could see now. Okay. Support this bad government, even if the holy both vote APC them no going, they cannot rig it with the level of economic hardship associated with this regime. Ibo support who? Now, one chance with this, Oga, speak to yourself. Many are in support of the hardship we are going through. Okay. Not a matter of being in support. It's glaring that the federal government policies are working and we have to wait for it to come to maturity. There is no easy way out. Only a pessimistic follow wants a magical approach. Mr. Obina, calling you Obina, I don't think you deserve it. Stop taking... Stop taking drugs. We are not cowards in Nigeria. Just play your policies anyhow you want. Count Igbos out of Nigerian policies. That is my advice for you. Thank you for your understanding. You don't finish. At the end of the day, whatever then they talk about uh, Alex Oti and the... Uh, I mean, Igbos rather than voting for Tunumbu. <laughs> we will watch how everything will play out now. We will watch. All right. At the end of the day, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.